1916 relatives plan for the development of the Moore Street area. An area described by the National Museum of Ireland as the most important historic site in modern Irish history. We're here today to present our alternative plan to the developer-led proposals to party leaders and independent TDs and we're seeking their support for the alternative vision for this most important historic site. My name is Christina McLaughlin and I'm here today because I am so excited about this new plan for the area of Moore Street and I am the niece of Sean McLaughlin who was commented to Moore Street and Mary McLaughlin who was involved in the EPO in that special week. And I just think this plan is the most exciting thing that has come forward in recent times for Moore Street. It ticks all the boxes, it avoids disrupting the terrace, and I think that once people see it, they will be more than happy to get behind it. My name is Damien Dempsey and I'm here today to try and preserve the houses down on Moore Street that the leaders of 1916 surrendered in. And I think it's vitally important to preserve our history and, and, uh, and, and make it a cultural quarter down there, a historical quarter and a cultural quarter, and keep the street traders going down there, you know, uh, a, a, a huge part of our heritage in Dublin. And um, I think it's just very important that we uh, hold on to our history in, in Ireland, because if we don't, it'll just be a big concrete city with no heart. Hi, my name is Prince Chase O'Rahala, I'm my grandson of Z O'Rahala, who is the founder of 1916 Volunteers, and the only leader shot in action on the Moore Street battlefield site. I'm here to uh, launch this plan today and hand it into government, which is the, res the relatives plan uh, opposed to the Hammerson plan, as we find that this is far more uh, uh, attached to the area in significance historically than the proposed Hammerson plan. Also we intend to try and keep the terrace intact for the 350 volunteers who uh, left the GPO on the second evacuation uh, borrowed into number 10 and right down to the Rahali parade. Let's honour the men who died and fought and died for this country and if, this, if that area urban battlefield, I mean imagine an urban battlefield right beside our main thoroughfare. Imagine that in any other country. It would be completely, it would be, it would be preserved and saved. So that's all I've got to say for it. Apart from this last line, which is that and it meets the recommendations of the Minister's Moore Street Advisory Committee, meets the objectives of the Dublin Development Plan, and uh, the position of the Dublin City Council that the entire terrace should be added to the list of protected structures. So we have a plan that meets all those recommendations. Well, my connection with Moore Street is that uh, my grandfather was the O'Rahaby. He was the co-founder of the Irish Volunteers. He was the only leader who actually died in action on Moore Street. Therefore, those cobbles are very safe to me. I am adamant that we're not going to have a repeat of the National Monument that he was the O'Rahilly's house and now that the very place where he gave his life for the formation of this state be uprooted by a Hammerson bulldozer. This is the plan. This is the plan that has public support that will preserve this uh, and sensitively develop this area. It's also not overdevelopment. What Hammerson wants to do is carry out widespread demolition and overdevelopment, yet more hotel rooms, yet more overpriced and undersized apartments. This is just not acceptable. Our plan is achievable and we believe we will achieve it. I guess the significance of restoring um, Moore Street and its surrounding area is of immense importance, um, not just for the Irish here um, in Ireland, but the diaspora abroad, because it's the significance of 1916. Um, in addition to that, it's also the significance of one of the most important market areas of Dublin and maintaining and keeping that. There's housing, there's uh, spaces for galleries, there's business spaces for uh, start-up businesses, there's also civic buildings um, and gallery and I suppose most significantly and importantly in the very centre of it is the, the, the museum for, of, for, for 1916 from between 14 and 17, the National Monument. Today is a red letter day for this campaign and the trust and so many of you have worked so hard 
over such a long period to make this uh, a reality, a, a concrete plan, beautifully designed, beautifully exhibited here today. This is the plan for Moore Street. Of that there is no doubt. This is the plan that will attract popular and widespread support right across the country. We will see this over the line.